The Los Angeles City Council has now moved closer to banning homeless encampments and tents on city sidewalks. NBC4's Angie Crouch is now going to break down both sides of this heated issue and what will happen next. Advocates for the homeless gathered outside L.A. City Hall today to oppose a new ordinance that would severely restrict where homeless people can camp. The measure will ban encampments from blocking the right-of-way on sidewalks and near doorways and keep them away from sensitive locations like schools, parks, shelters, and libraries. Homeless advocates say the ordinance criminalizes people for not having a home. We just have to stop saying anywhere but here. Unhoused folks are in our neighborhoods because we have failed policies for the last five decades plus. Inside Inside City Hall, council members listen to dozens of calls from residents and business owners who support the ban. How many of your constituents have to be attacked or killed for you all to realize it's unsafe to allow the homeless to live on residential streets? Thirteen of the 15 council members support the ban, saying it does not criminalize homelessness because people on the street will first be offered housing before they're issued a misdemeanor citation. If you are offered shelter, you must either move in, move along, or face a consequence. When they know they have to move, they're more likely to accept resources. So I will not live in fear, and I will not legislate in fear. So if you want to come for me, you can go ahead and do that. Westside Councilman Mike Bonin, who himself was once homeless, opposes the ordinance, along with Councilmember Nithya Raman, because the city only has enough units to house 39% of the more than 50,000 homeless, so many will have no place to go. can't tell you how much turmoil there is in your heart when the sun is setting and you don't know where you can sleep. The homeless camping ordinance won't become official until the council meets again July 28th. Once enacted, the ordinance requires the city to first offer services to people on the streets, and if they refuse, they'll be given a 14-day notice to remove their belongings before being evicted from their encampment. Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.